Hello, it's time for pips. Let's play some dominoes. We'll start with easy. Okay, what do we have? Well, we have greater than three, which can only be a four. So that is absolutely forced. We've got an equivalence of size four, which means we'll put the double one there. We'll finish it here, and then we won't break the zero, which means that's all done. Okay, that was very straightforward. Um, we'll see if that uh, holds true for the rest of the day. Probably not to that extent. Let's try medium. Oh, interesting. We've got uh, four islands here. Okay, so we've got a two that must include must include a double one and a zero. That's the only way to do that. We don't know which which part of the zero that is yet. We've got a, a three sized equivalence region, which looks like it will be fours, which means we yeah I think it can only be fours. So we'll have a double four here, and then we, again we don't know where the third four is. We have another equivalence region, which could be double fives, or it could be twos or zeros even. And another equivalence here, well, this one definitely cannot be double fives. Um, it needs to be something that connects to a five or six and something that connects to a one or a zero. Actually, it must be a zero because we don't have any ones remaining. So it'll be something oriented this way. So it's either a two, can't be a two because the two would connect to a four, which is not greater than four. It could connect to a three, which it can't because there are no remaining threes, which means it must connect to the four. And then the four must connect to something greater than four, which will be this six. So that is now complete. Uh, the three now must be this three. Now, it, oh, actually, you know what? The four is four, so we might as well put that in. So the four goes there, that's fine. And now the equivalence is either, oh, this is funny. I think there are two ways to do this. I think we could do zero goes into three, and then we finish the zero in the equivalence region with the two that go, goes over there. Or we could, oh no, never mind. That's not possible. That's not possible because that would break our two regions. Sorry, that was wrong. The, the actual only correct thing is to put two fives in here, finish the three. Sorry, that was a foolish thing that I said. And then um, this zero finishes the two region. Okay, there we go. So that, that was all forced. And now we will try the hard. Whoa. Okay, big board here. So we've got a zero, a three size zero region, which means we immediately need to put a double zero. That's the only thing that can go in there. Similarly, the 18 is kind of <laughs> the inverse of that. It can only be sixes, which means we need a double six. So that, that must go in there. And then we've got a very large equivalence region with size seven. Of what do we have seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. We only have six ones. Um, fives, maybe? Not quite. What about fours? One, two, three. Now, what about threes? Okay, I must be missing something here. What do we have? What do we have seven of? Fives. We have we have seven fives. Okay, so um, so we'll need a house actually. And how many do we have exactly seven? We have exactly seven, so we can't waste any. So we need a five that connects to something else there, and then we'll need a double five, which goes well here or here, and we will need. We will need another double five. Um, wait. Will we? I think we will. But I don't see one. Have I miscounted something? Do we also have five? How have I done this? Because we'll need something vertically coming out of the 18, which means whatever goes in this cell can only point towards other cells in the same region. I must have miscounted something else because I think we would, I don't think we have another double five. Do we have, am I not thinking about this correctly? I might not be. Oh, wait a second. No, I think the other way to do this would be six, five here. Yeah, this is how this works. Sorry about that. I made a I made a poor assumption there. Then the two we lead a two and a five. 
that connect these will need the double five that goes here. And now we can make the rest of it without a second double five. Sorry, that was a, just a poor parsing on my part of the grid. So we now need a zero that connects to a five, which we do have good. And um, it won't point into the three because the three will be completely covered by two dominoes. So it needs to point, the other five needs to point up into this equivalence region. And that will need to be Wait a second. That'll need to be a four or a three. So do either of the, we have plenty of threes and we have enough fours as well, actually for the equivalence region. What about the four sized equivalence region? I think that, oh no, we actually, yeah, we still have enough threes and fours for that. Okay, never mind. What about this three region? This will need to be, this will need to comprise only ones and zeros. We actually don't have any twos. So it'll need to be either three ones. Actually, I guess it can't have any zeros because if it had a zero, it, it would need a two. So I think it's all ones, which means the double one goes here and then we need another one, you know, there. Uh, but we don't know what the other half will be yet. Okay, what about this two region? Actually, similarly, because we don't have any twos, we also can't have any zeros. So this two region here is also two ones. Oh, and this six needs to be a single domino. So do we have anything that fits that? Yes, the double three looks like the only possibility. So that goes there. So that means we need a one that points into a zero because we, we don't have a double one for the two. So that goes there. And now we need a one that points into this three sized equivalence region, which is going to be threes or fours. And we do have both of those actually. Um, do we still have enough of both threes and fours for the four sized region? I don't think we have enough threes anymore because we just used two. No. So we don't have enough threes for the four sized equivalence region, which means the four sized equivalence region is fours. The double must go there. And then we'll have one that bridges the gap between the four sized and the three sized. And the three sized will be threes. Yeah, I don't think we have any other possibilities there. So we'll have a 4-3 bridging that um, barrier. And then um, a 5 pointing. We'll finally finish this uh, 5 equivalence region. So um, the 5 points up into the 3. And then our last 5 finishes that region there. Uh, we now have the 3 bridging into the, the 2 region with its 1 pip. And... And now the four equivalence region is finally finished here, which means we can go all the way back to our three region with our final one. And there we go. Okay, well, that, that took some thinking, but it was ultimately all forced. So there we go. I made one logical error early on, which fortunately didn't throw off the entire solve. Uh, so there we go. Those were the pips. Back tomorrow. Bye for now.